Turning now to U.S. politics, Congressman Mike Johnson holds a town hall discussion in Mansfield. Public was able to ask Johnson about hot button issues in Washington, D.C., with the most pressing being the impeachment hearings related to President Donald Trump. Uh, what's interesting, and I've told the group here today, is that even as of this late hour, it's afternoon on Monday, I don't even know who the witnesses are going to be on Wednesday. So it just illustrates the problem we've had with the whole impeachment process and the way the Democrat majority has run it. They're, they're really not showing all the cards. They're not acting in a transparent way. And inherently, I think at the end of the day, that's a real problem with this. Well, tomorrow, the House Intelligence Committee is expected to release its report summarizing their investigation and what they recommend should happen next. NBC 6's Anna Wernicke is in Washington with more on what we can expect. As Congress returns from Thanksgiving recess, lawmakers are picking up the impeachment process right where they left off. On Tuesday, the House Intelligence Committee is scheduled to deliver a report to the House Judiciary Committee detailing President Trump's interactions with Ukraine. No one is above the law. The committee's chairman, Jerry Nadler, says his committee's <clears throat> first hearing is set for Wednesday, and the first witness he invited was President Trump, an invitation the president and his attorneys declined. Because the whole Thing is a the president is being accused of pressuring the Ukrainian president for political favors. President Trump says he did nothing wrong and blasted Democrats for holding Wednesday's hearing the same day as the NATO summit in London. This is one of the most important journeys that we make as president. And for them to be doing this and saying this and putting an impeachment on the table. The House Judiciary Committee will decide if the president's actions are grounds for impeachment. If they think that they are, Chairman Nadler will then be tasked with drafting the official articles of impeachment that will be presented to the full House. I'm standing by this president. That's where Texas Republican Congressman Jody Arrington says he is prepared to defend the president. It's not going anywhere. The Senate will stop it, uh, even if... If they don't dismiss it, they'll still, it will end in the Senate, and we will end up, because of, of this uh, infatuation with impeaching the president, with absolutely nothing. A House vote could come as early as Christmas. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke.